And right now, help for Chicago police. Their work can take a physical and mental toll on officers. Since 2018, at least 26 Chicago police officers have taken their own lives. A new program is trying to help them cope with trauma and stress. NBC 5's Regina Waldrop takes us inside the First Responders Wellness Center. From the bubbling water fountain to the inspirational sayings and serene paintings on the walls, everything here put in place with Chicago police officers in mind. We've tried to make it a soothing environment where people would feel comfortable and safe. This is the new First Responders Wellness Center. Tucked away on the second floor of the Chicago Police Union building, it's where anyone who works for the department can meet with mental health counselors. So we're trying to just again let them let go a little bit and have a place that is quiet, confidential. Dr. Carrie Steiner runs the center. She also worked as an officer for 13 years. She's trying to break stigma and change culture around counseling. They are so overwhelmed with how much trauma that they're seeing, the amount of pressure that they have from working all of the overtime. There's been a concerning rise in officer suicides. Since 2018, at least 26 officers have taken their own lives. You could say morale, you could say so many different things, but there's so many things unique to Chicago, the violence. FOP President John Catanzara says the center is another option for officers who can also get counseling through the department's employee assistance program. The department also has a new mental health coordinator. It was a no-brainer kind of decision for us. More options, the better. Well, the Wellness Center is staffed with 13 counselors. Some of them are first responders, some are veterans, and some are the spouses of police officers. When it comes to a counselor who has that in their background, it just, it does make a difference. In recent years, many police departments across this country have created positions or offices that seek to improve officer safety and well-being with the idea that there's a connection between wellness and community safety. Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News.